Hello everybody, I'm here. I found a little issue in uh, Corel Draw 2017 and I'm going to make a little macro to fix it. What I found uh, ungrouping takes a long time when you have a lot of groups and part of my workflow I use a lot of groups and then I ungroup everything and I'll show you what 2017 does. Let's say I have a lot of items here. Everybody's workflow is different. Some might work with a lot of groups. And some might not. So I'm going to group these. I'm going to group these. And I'll make both of those a group. And then I'll just group that. And then if I select them and I choose Corel Draws Ungroup All, you can see it gets slower the more it does. So let's Let's go back and let's duplicate this. And I got a pretty fast computer, but it didn't. We didn't have this problem with the older versions of uh, Corel Draw. It's like they left the optimization off for some reason for ungrouping. So let's try it with all these groups and see how it works. So I'm going to choose ungroup all. And you can see if you do this every day, it's going to be a little tedious. You have to wait. So I made a macro to fix this bug until I guess they can go get around to fixing it. And the macro, so let's put our groups back, will work instantly. So I'll have all these groups, and I'll select my macro, and I'm pressing it now. And instantly, everything is ungrouped within less than a second. Now I was going to show you how that'll work. If you wanted to see how that macro works, uh, you can stick around. So what I'll do is I'll open up the macro editor, and I put a module in my one of my macros, one of my GMS files, and I called it my macros. And I just have miscellaneous macros in here, and this is where I put the ungroup fix, and then I made it a shortcut icon for the ungrouping, and then ungrouping all, which passes a boolean value to this private sub here. These are public subs, so these subs without the word private will show up in your tools options customization area when you want to uh, you know grab the icon and customize that. So for anyone who doesn't know I'm going to show you how to make this and then how to put modules in it. So what I like to do is I'm old school so I open up the folder and this is where it's located and if we go up from here you get a better idea so it's in your uh, you go app data and then in your roaming folder for your username so it'll be users and I'm John app data roaming and then Corel and you'll see all your various Corel draw versions and 2017 draw GMS and the GMS folder won't show up here until you've initialized VBA at least one time in Corel Draw, and then it appears. Or you could create it if you've never initialized VBA, just create a GMS folder, all caps. And to create a new macro, like my macros, I would just right click New Text Document, and I'd just call it A, and no spaces. So we go underscore macro, and then delete the TXT extension and put GMS. And the extension won't show up unless you have it in your options. Um, so it will show up. You have to uncheck uh, hide extensions, file name extension for known types, and that way the, the extension will show up and you'll be able to change it. And then you just press enter. You sure we want to change the extension? Yes. And then of course you've got to restart draw for this to show up. So I'm not going to save. And we're going to restart. And then we're going to choose Alt F11, bring up our macro, uh, Visual Basic uh, Macro Editor. And you'll find it Global Macros. There it is, a macro.gms. And you just click in it. You'll have no uh, module folder yet, so you'll just right click here and you'll go Insert Module. And if you ever wanted a user form, you'd go Insert User Form. 
and they'd be under forms and modules will be under modules and then you can give this a name right here and we'll just call it ungroup ungroup fix and then hit enter and you could also change the name of this so it doesn't say global macros so you you'll have to select nothing and then reselect it and then it appears and you can just put a a macro or you could call it anything you want you could call it my handy stuff and that's where you put all your handy macros you can just right click make a new module and you could give it a name doodad or you could put multiple subs inside of one and that's what I did up here so I got my macros modules and we got our ungroup fix and we're gonna run this and see how it works again this is a little more simple than some of my other videos if you want to get more complex you can take a look at my YouTube channel and I actually have a whole bunch of videos that I haven't even put on YouTube yet that are pretty complex this one's pretty simple Did I group these yet? Group, group. I put G for group on my keyboard. I just press G. And then I'm going to group these two piles here. And then I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. and We'll see the difference. Let's see if we run the... If I'm too boring for you, feel free to fast forward. We're running the Corel Draw version. You can see how long it takes. Every day I have would have to do this. That's why I created this little, tiny little macro to make this fix. It gets slower as it goes. And then we'll control Z, put it back. And each of these will be groups. There's a group, there's a group. And then if we do ours, I assigned a shortcut icon to this and a shortcut icon to this. And it shows up in the tools options customization area because we don't have private and we're not taking a uh, we're not passing a parameter if we were passing a parameter it would not show up in the tools options uh, customization area or if we had private it would not show up in the tools options customization area so you want it to be in a module with sub and then it'll show up and you can make this uh, a shortcut key or a icon so let's run this one and we'll run it by pressing F8. We'll just select inside here, anywhere, and I'll press F8. And it's going to go to this. Ungroup it. It's going to leap to this. Ungroup it, and it's going to pass this value of true to this boolean which it's asking for. It's And now B all is true. It would have been false if we didn't pass nothing, but we do have to pass something because it's not a optional. On error, go to woe. And if there's an error, it optimization will turn off and the window will refresh. If act active selection shapes count equals zero, exit. Oh, so we're going to exit because nothing was selected. And then it ends up. So let's select. And we'll run it again. Active select. See how I hover my mouse over there? Count is four. It has four shapes. So it has one two, three, four shapes. And this is an optimi optimized procedure which you'd probably want to turn off if you were uh, so I could drag this back up here like this. Actually I can't because I'm in this. But I could skip it. Let's just skip it all together. So dragging that down there and it skips it like it never even got ran. Or put that if you're doing testing you'll want to uh, skip the optimize so you can see what's going on because what optimize does it stops the the graphic card from sh demonstrating all this so now we're going to be able to actually see what happens command group that makes a single undo and you can give it a name this is optional so we'll call it ungroup fix so when I select the 
the icon for undo, it'll show up as undo the ungroup fix. And then we'll press 8, continue on. We'll set SR's active selection range. And let's do this. I like to turn on my locals window, so I'm going to turn off the intermediate window. Just by closing that. Locals window is pretty helpful. So we'll go locals. And you can see all your variables down here. So when we're, we're going to set SR, you have to set them. Uh, SR is a reference for the active selection range. And we could go down here and look at SR in, in our locals window. Kind of running off the screen here. And it'll give you the properties for the SR. There's one. It'll tell you the first shape, the last shape. All the properties. Is it a simple shape? No, it's not a, a simple shape, which I'll get to in a second. I'm jumping ahead of myself here. If it's not a simple shape, a simple shape would be meaning uh, it's a group. So it's not a simple shape. That means it is a group. Then it will run to the next. And if it's not a simple shape, and if b all equals true, we're going to ungroup all. So if this boolean that we passed is true, ungroup all, and it ungroups all. And you see it does it because our optimization is not running. Look how long it takes to ungroup all, which is something's going on here. That's definitely not right. I found a, a few bugs so far in this where in the debugger certain things happen. Just some weird things. Look at that. It's doing it again for some reason. That's definitely a bug. You could try this same thing in X6 and uh, an older version. You won't you won't see that happening. I was trying to debug some uh, code yesterday for the clipboard and in the debugger I couldn't get the program to work. Look, it's even doing it again. That could be the reason. Something in the program is not right. See, that should not be doing that. It should. We're on this line. We're not still ungrouping, and it's still messing with that shape. So there's definitely something going on here. And then we'll go next S. Look at it. It does it every time. So we found some pretty serious little issues here in the debugger. Which is not very fun. Look at it, it does it every time. Definitely, definitely an issue, definitely a problem. Let's see if we can even get to the end of this macro. So why in the debugger is it still ungrouping all each time when we're on these lines here? And somehow look it looks like it found an error. And it's still running. So definitely bugs big ones. Hope they get this fixed. So I'm going to stop by pressing the stop button up above on the control. And you can see as long as we're not in the debugger this macro will work and we'll put the optimization back on by uncommenting out these lines so it runs through this optimized uh, which you can copy by the way if you need to optimize any code. Basically it passes two booleans. B use as in do you want to use it? So you'd put yes I want to use it, true. And then the second is it the start? This is my own little creation so it's a little. And then yes it is the start and down here false because it is the end. So it turns it off for false and turns it on for true. Let's run this without the debugger and the optimization on. It still seemed to go slow when we did it through the through the VBA window. So let me group these back and so 
we got a group here, a group here, a group here, and a group here. And we'll do it from the icon. Oh, I gotta select them. And it's it's instant. It's it's a great fix. Okay, we got four groups and we're gonna do it from the from here. It was still instant. So as long as we're not in debug mode, I guess. And it's instant. So there it is. I hope you liked the video.